chick, Fatiana. Fatiana. Fat cheeks on my face, Pacquiana. Pacquiana. I want some chips with some dip, Reggiana. Please. Please. Step to the barbecue, what a meat. Motherfucker need a slab and some mac and cheese. cheese. Gain weight over time, I'm on a roller team. They tried to make. Trust. It's me, it's you, oh yes, it's we. It's us, it's a must that they got to see. It's me, it's you, oh yes, it's we. Sit back, kid, back, and laugh with me. Hey. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. You already know what's going on. And with this video that I'm back with, it is a story time. Um, Right now, it is hot as hell outside it's 103 degrees in florida right now we are in florida like, i don't even know what made us come to florida but we here in florida you know and it's hot as hell and i'm here i'm gonna roll me a joint and i just wanted to give y'all this little quick story time because i want to i wanted to come talk to y'all about how it's important to know your family because I almost slept with my cousin ew like what oh my god would you not please would you please like y'all don't understand like literally like if you don't ask questions and you don't do what you need to do like doing a little something how you gonna have even much no how would you ever for not know? Like, for real, though. For real, though. Like, I'm some real nigga doodle tree, y'all. I almost slept with my cousin. Like, in college, you feel me? When this one, I was entertaining dudes, you know, because dudes used to pay my bills. And I, I just got one main dude paying my bills. But, yeah. So, like, you know, I'm a real cute red bone. This physique is out of control. This physique is out of this world. People always want to know how I'm shaped and built the way I'm built up. And I be like, you know, it's built up. Built up. That pressure getting heavy, man, it's built up. Built up. Built up. That pressure getting heavy, man, it's built up. Like, the pressure outside, too, because it's so high. Heat stroke. But, yeah, y'all, like, in college when I used to talk to dudes or whatever, you know, I'm a real pretty behind red girl. Like, a lot of people try to talk to me. That's one thing I can't say as a big girl. I really didn't have no problem. Hold on. I'm trying to unravel it, y'all. I ain't got no nails. I ain't really had no problems pulling dudes or females. Like, it really wasn't never no issue. <laughs> it was never no team. So it's like this one dude that I had started conversing with, I ain't gonna get no name because I don't even lie. He one of them cousins where you find out like who y'all peoples is. He's not one of those immediate cousins that you actually grow up with, but it's just the simplest fact that no, like your mama and my daddy are first cousins. It's like it just it just seems weird. You know, so yeah. So before we got to that point or whatever. He was an exotic dancer. Um, he looked really, really good, y'all. Don't get me wrong. Like, physique out of this world. Abs on Swolo. Smile on Chris. Okay, Colgate ain't had nothing on him. He was a real put-together um, guy, you know, and he loved his plus-size girls. He had to always let that be known, like... Oh my God, like you my type and I love me a full figure woman. You know, they don't like to call us fat. I don't know why. Don't call me full figure because I'm not. Because my legs is small, my arms is small. A bitch is disproportionate, like in some cases. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I was like, um, trying to figure out why they just stop right there. I don't like when people just stop. Cause it's like, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. 
So like, yeah, y'all. Um, okay, back to what I was saying. I just had to make sure everything was co was what it was. But it's like you know, he was a well put together guy. You know, he had to let a bitch know that he loved big girls or whatever. I don't know why it's always got to be known as if the world doesn't. You be a fool not to love one, but. So, you know, we just kicking it on the phone or whatever. At this point, we just on the phone. You know how I go in the beginning where you on the phone with the dude. They getting to know you. You know, this is before they start really tripping. You know, before they get what they want and leave or just start cheating, doing the most, whatever have you, right? So, we just getting to know each other or whatnot. And, you know, this is before we was fin finna chill because, come on, we grown. Y'all already knew what time it was. Like, and at that time in my, my, on my mind, I'm not going to lie, I was not looking for no relationship, not in college. Like, if it happened, it happened, but I really was not, like, looking for no hard-down relationship. I was just doing my thought thizzle here and there, you know what I'm saying? Even when I was in relationships, which is bad, I still was doing me, and I didn't care, even though I should care because karma is a, oh, shut your mouth. You know, so it's like... It, it, it was what it was so it really wasn't nothing like that so i just had different people i was conversing with but you already knew what time it was so he was like oh i want to see you i want you to come chill and i come on if 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 a nigga want me to come chill at 12 one o'clock in the morning i know we ain't just gonna chill i know you ain't talking about just chilling so i was like boy wait i don't want to come over there he was like girl you know you want to come over there i was like I was like, no, I don't. But y'all already know we got to play hard to get. So, long story short, um, I was telling him that, okay, I'm going to come over there or whatever, you know, but we still stayed on the phone a little bit. Um, and it's like, he just started asking me, like, you know, just more questions. So, what part of town I'm from? Because he already knew I was from the crib. He already knew I was from a lot of there. He already knew we was from the same neck of the woods. So, he just was like, what part of town you grew up on or whatever? And I was like, well, I grew up in Deep Side, you know, but I got people all around. I was like, I got people in Melrose, Cool Springs area, Shallow Side. I was like, you know, I got people all over a lot of them or whatever. He was like, oh, yeah, me too. He was like, you probably know my people. My people's got, they real popular, right? So I was like, know your people. Who is your people since they so popular? Please, please tell me about these popular ass people. So when he started talking about the pink house or whatever, I'm like, the pink house, so I ain't think nothing of it. And then he was like, yeah, over there in, um, what do they call that area? Over there in Tater Town. That's what they call it, Tater Town. Don't ask me to elaborate. <laughs> but they, um, he was like, the pink house over there in Tater Town. I was like, what pink house in Tater Town, mind you? My auntie has a pink house in Tater Town, and it's, like, literally the biggest pink house in Tater Town because she had it. She had her house built up from the ground up, so, you know, it looks a lot bigger and a lot better than some of the homes that are on there. Not knocking the homes that are on there because those homes are still good, but it's, like, she, um, this plaque getting on my nerves. But she just, you know, did her how she did her. So I was like, the pink house. I was like, oh, who you know over there? When people say peoples, I'm thinking like homeboy sometimes, maybe a real close friend that you would call a brother. You know how we call people our cousins that's really our friends or our sisters and brothers that's really our friends. So I'm like, oh, who your people? So when he started naming people, I'm like, oh, yeah, how you know them? I say small world. I know them too. He was like... I'm sure you do. Everybody know them over there. He was like, yeah, man, you know, whenever you come in town, you can pull up over there with me. So I'm like, uh-uh, tell me about these people. So then when he started, when he mentioned a few names, I was like, boy, that is my motherfucking cousin. So before I was really in a rush. So I was like, boy, them is my mother and cousins. Like, what you mean? Them your peoples? He was like, girl, you fucking lying. Them is not your peoples or your, your family members. I'm like, dead ass. I was like, that's my granddaddy's sister who own that house. I say all her kids and they kids are my cousins. What are you talking about? I say blood cousins at that. So then that's when he was like, well, what's your last name? And when I told him my last name, he was like, 
oh my effing gosh i was like exactly i said oh my god what your fur hey would you please i'm talking about when i say fine y'all mm, 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 mm. that is a nice looking man i don't know if he look the same right now but the way he lived his life it's like he took care of his body in the gym, very active, stuff like that. Like, I was like, this cannot be happening to me. This can't be happening to me. Why is this happening to me? I was like, out of all the people that could be my cousin, it had to be the nigga I'm finna go pull up on. And you already know when you got your mind fixated on going somewhere and doing things. That's what you want to do. So I had to call one of my side niggas to come over there and just chill with me. And then uh, me and that boy, we never talked no more until I seen him at the house when I came down there to visit. And that's so crazy. It's always like that when you when you just see somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't never see this person. And then once y'all realize some things y'all got in common or what may have you, then next thing you know, you always see them. That's just like when you see a car that come out and you get that car. Now you want to see this car. It's like, I ain't never seen these type of cars before. So it's like, if you don't never see these people around and stuff, like, oh my God, why do you got to see them once you start, like, once you meet them or something? I was like, man, that's just so crazy. Like, comment down below if that if that ever even happened to y'all. Like, if y'all ever, like, ain't seen nobody and then next thing you know, you just seen somebody, like, and all you do is just see them, like, or when you buy a car, you ain't never seen this car around, you think you the only one with it. Now you seeing this car every damn light you approach. Don't that be that killer? Don't that be that hurt? Don't it be that hard? I don't be understanding. I just be wanting to understand. Am I the only one? You know what? I'm finna cut it. That's what I'm finna do. But I'm out. Okay, y'all. We about to get ready to get on this road trip. I'm so excited. I can't wait to do a story time by the pool or just talk to y'all from the pool area. Oh, my God. I want to tell y'all about the time that I joined the choir. Oh, my God. My grandma was so mad. I was like, you gonna learn about putting me in the shit? <laughs> Very good. Okay, y'all. So, thank y'all so much for tuning into my channel. Thank you for tuning in to my... I just be on there. Thank you for tuning in to my story time. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all share my video. Um, Make sure y'all always just know that I'm here for you. And you just gonna be here for me. And that's all we gonna do. Alright, peace. Love you lots.